Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be chatting about a couple of items from the drugstore, some new, some old, some you've heard me mention a bunch uh, that I just kind of cannot stop reaching for. And I feel like if you are like me and you find yourself wandering the drugstore makeup aisles, these may be a few items that you might want to consider picking up. And if you're curious about this look, I did just film a tutorial. If it's not up yet, it will be up soon. It's an I can't let go of summer makeup look, so stay tuned for that. But if you enjoy drugstore makeup content, be sure to to subscribe but let's go ahead and get started. So the first item that I want to talk about is foundation because I feel like this foundation did not get enough love. Revlon Colorstay, you know, that was like the foundation of beauty YouTube for a little while there. It was like holding us up there. Um, but this is the Revlon Colorstay Light Cover Foundation and I will say like the packaging does not do this product any favors. Um, I feel like they were trying to go for like a minimalistic look but it ended up looking just a little bit like play makeup kind of, unfortunately, but uh, I still wanted to try it and I really loved it. It says it has 12 hour wear, 56% all day hydration, no parabens, fragrance, phthalates, or mineral oils, but mostly it's just a great lighter coverage foundation. Let me know if you've tried this. I'd love to know your thoughts. I'll link my review down below where I show you application, how it looks in natural light before and after, but if you're just looking for something that's a little bit lighter coverage, this is really, really nice. There's lots of great options out there. I'll link my favorite kind of skin tints and lighter coverage video down below but I wanted to point this out because I'm still wearing it still really really like it and I feel like I don't hear a lot of people talk about it up next let's chat about a mascara that I cannot get enough of I'm fully obsessed with I've been using ever since I tested it out um, and funny because this brand I always thought made crap mascaras and they kind of did up until now so uh, the one that they came out with most recently is awesome this one is even better it is the elf big mood mascara if you tend to like the same mascaras that I do so like let's say Maybelline Total Temptation L'Oreal um whatever their one was that they came out with lash paradise like all of those ones beautiful it's funny because i've revisited the maybelline sky high which i really really like but that one is definitely more length than volume i'd say this one is a little bit more evenly split in between the two but holy every time i wear this i'm always getting compliments on my lashes they look so long so full like I have a lot of mascaras that do a really great job, but this one does such a good job and super, super affordable. Matte blushes at the drugstore have come a long way, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done in terms of colors because for a long time, so many blushes were shimmery or they were only light pink. Now we're starting to get a bigger variety, but still we need more depth. So that's where this line really comes in handy. And it also, there's a matte and a glow version, but this blush specifically, one of my favorites, I wear it all the time. I'm not wearing it right now, but it was kind of the look I was trying to achieve. Uh, this is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush in Daydream. There's another one in Summer Breeze, I think. There's a ton of gorgeous shades in this line. Um, they also have one that's like a yellow highlighter that I think they discontinued, but it's actually very pretty if you see that in store. But these are great, great shade range, really, really beautiful packaging. I'm specifically pointing out the shade Daydream, like I said, but there's a lot of great shades in here. But another thing that I like, especially from the drugstore, is its sleek packaging. Like, I love the Physician's Formula. I'm looking over there because he's right there. Hello, I'm sorry. Um, but the packaging is far too bulky. I'm still going to keep using it, but it's definitely not my preference. So I really love that it has like a great shade range. It comes in matte and glow. So it gives me the choice. It comes in nice packaging. Like it's just hitting all the marks. And these are such solid blushes. Now for setting sprays, I should do a setting sprays at the drugstore video because there's been a lot out there. This is one that I really, really love. I actually, there's one from Wet n Wild that I love too, but I've talked about that one a lot. So I figured I would mention this. This is something that I reach for if my skin looks too dry, too powdery, if I wanna make it look more like skin, it's really beautiful. I will say if you have an oilier skin type, this is not gonna make you look matte by any means. I'm not sure how much it contributes to the longevity of my makeup wear, but it definitely makes my makeup look better. It definitely makes everything just look better but what you'll notice if it settles is it does have some iridescence at the bottom so make sure to shake it I don't notice that on my skin it's really really important I don't like luminous setting sprays that have shimmer or a lot of luminosity in there there's something in here but I don't find that it does anything um, like bad bad but yeah it even has a really gorgeous it's got a great spray there's a matte one as well that I really like. I think that Catrice makes beautiful, beautiful setting sprays. I really, like I said, I like the mist. I like the packaging. I even like the size. Great for travel. And this one definitely just, I just spray it on my face. It just makes my face look better. I, I wouldn't say it's like necessarily comparable to the Tatcha Dewy Mist, 
spray or whatever they call that, but definitely same idea. I have a lip gloss that I want to mention from Marcel. They launched these this year. They're a Canadian brand available at Shoppers Drug Mart, at Loblaws, um, at Walmart quite available here in Canada and this shade specifically I love it's in the shade pink nude um, but they came out with a collection of kind of neuter glosses and this just became a shade that I've I've been wearing non-stop I'll put it over products I'll wear it on its own really simple Marcel is hypoallergenic they're Canadian which I love to support and the this range that they came out with was really good because there's pink nude there's peach nude which is another favorite of mine and then there's brown nude which is going to be better be better better for deeper skin tone so I was really happy to see what them come out with that line but after the fact it's also they're also fragrance free I think or don't have any like added fragrance or something like that but really just so so beautiful and um if you live in Canada and you haven't checked out Marcel uh I would say their eye makeup remover is their best product and then their mascaras are amazing and this lip gloss is so so good then I want to give this lip product a shout out because it's something that I use all the time, all the time. Having like a peach like this liquid lipstick on hand is probably my one of the most important things to like the majority of my makeup looks because <laughs> uh, you know I'm, all, I'm generally always wearing three lip products. I'll wear like ColourPop BFF3 lip liner. If I'm doing like my typical lip, I'll do like a rosy brown lipstick and then put something peachy in the center and that's what really really makes it for me. So this shade is my perfect mixing shade. I, I don't know if I've ever worn it on its own but I think that once I started taking that approach of realizing that I if I bought a liquid lipstick it didn't have to go fully opaque all over my lips. That makes every lipstick a lot more wearable so I just tap it in the center of my lips it looks bright and warm and peachy gives me everything that I want uh, this is the shade coral corruption from wet n wild It's part of their liquid cat suit collection and they're really nice there's other shades that I wear completely on their own it's just that this shade right here uh, it's just that this shade is so so perfect they're really really nice good wear time um, and again you know quite affordable like everything else here today and then lastly, I want to mention this sponge from EcoTools. It's dirty. I bought some new ones, but ever since, I think I might have been sent this sponge like years ago, and then I've been repurchasing it ever since. You can get it on Amazon. I bought it at Rexall. I've seen it at Walmart. They're very, very available. But the EcoTools sponges, a lot of the time they'll come with one or two or a little guy. The little guy's fine. This sponge is probably one of my favorite sponges. I love that it has the two flat sides. This flat side for my under eyes or cream blush, cream highlight, this flat side for my face. I very rarely use actually the, the bump side. So I just think that this is phenomenal. There's also like a flat edge there where you could perhaps use it here or I don't know, other, other options that perhaps I haven't explored, but I think it's a fabulous sponge and it's very, very affordable. The Real Techniques ones are amazing too. If you're having a hard time splurging on a beauty blender, finally the drugstore has caught up from making us tap ourselves with uh, those like cement based sponges that they were coming out with for a little while there. So that is everything that I love at the drugstore. I mean, that's not everything. There's a hundred million things that I love at the drugstore, but if you love this video, kind of a random smattering of things that I really enjoy to keep an eye out for, let me know. I'd love to keep doing this because I could do it every day. Uh, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!